Hello, well, that's tuning into today's uh, Burr video. Let's have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days. For today's Burr video, day 10 will take us to the 20th of April. And uh, we'll be able to set up beyond that with the Essential Affairs at ECM Ensembles. Later on, in a weeks, we'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the first half of May, and I shall get on with it for you in a moment. Just save that first a video sales at 6 10 UK weather forecast. And we have also uh, released the second installment of the Easter Count. Down second Easter update. So please like, share, and subscribe on both of today's videos. Thank you so everyone for doing that for Gals Weather. I'm going to say hello and happy birthday to Ross Miller. It's Ross's birthday today. So happy birthday, my friend. Long term uh, Gav, well, long term, long time Gals Weather Vids uh, viewer and follower. Happy birthday, Ross. I'm having a lovely day. Uh, if, if everyone can say happy birthday to Ross in the comments, that would be uh, lovely. Right, here we go, then. Let's start off with latest with that from Earth, no Net. High and dry again today. Big areas of high pressure sitting over top of the country, bringing lots of fire conditions. We're beginning to lose that easterly wing as well, so temperatures will be on the rise over the next couple of days as we bring the air up more from off the continent once again. Central England temperature is now uh, down to 9.8. That's due to the chilly nights that we've been getting. Cold nights, warm days, the past uh, few days. That's still a couple of degrees, really above 61 to 1990 average, and is provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 9th of April. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So uh, we can see that at the moment we're above average with those upper air temperatures, but a drop is on the way as we go through the weekend and into the next week of the second half of April, looking uh, quite a lot cooler than what we've been used to. That does mask a lot of scatter though. No uh, warm ensemble members up are up here. Cold ensemble members are down there, or chilly ensemble members are down there, I should say. Precipitation wise, so it is going to be a bit more unsettled over the weekend. That's not as much as we'll see for a couple of days ago, though, with the more unsettled weather now pushed back towards the second half of next week and into the Easter weekend. Are we starting to see the latest forecast and settle spell beginning to get toned down again? Hmm, I wonder. Temperature anomaly. So the next five days, up to the 15th of April, coming out uh, above average, a warmer, a warmer than average period to come. Six to ten day uh, temperature anomaly shows a cooler trend. So going a little bit below average, actually, in the West, near and normal elsewhere. And the 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly. Again, it's uh, very much close to average. Precipitation anomaly. So the next seven days, up to the 17th of April, about average, uh, a little bit drier, perhaps for more northern areas, the 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly, again, driving average of Scotland, nearer normal elsewhere. Right, let's start going through the chart, but that's not as wet as it was a couple of days ago. Hmm. Right, let's start going through the chart data. Mr. the latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Sunday. Trouble low pressure pushes across the taking some showers with it. And they're into uh, rather unsettled weather through the early part of next week with low pressure bringing showers and or long spells of rain. That looks quite unsettled by the middle of next week. I have to say that low pushing up from the south, no doubt bringing a lot of heavy rain uh, northwards with it. And then we look pretty showery as we head towards the second half next week. Gets us to Thursday, the 17th of April, just before Easter, with uh, low pressure knocking around the west of Europe. So quite an unsettled UK met today. Icon, again, bring that to trough across the country on Sunday, with that further rain to come. Into next week, looking unsettled, low pressure pushes up from south to southwest, bringing heavy rain in with it. And then that's how we're going to get to the end of the Icon run, midday next Thursday. Low pressure's out in the Atlantic. That would be threatening outbreaks of rain moving in from the west and from the southwest just in time for Easter. Uh, what about the KMA? Well, once again, we've got low pressure bringing further unsettled conditions as we go through the course of next week. That looks quite wet next Thursday with that low. Looking quite vigorous, I have to say, so maybe quite windy with that as well. Uh, now, going to the actual Easter weekend, though, and the trend goes back towards higher pressure. So, unsettled leading up to Easter and into 
Easter, but then back to higher pressure again as we get into Easter itself. It's Rejack sending through the country, back to high pressure with North Atlantic going up towards Green. So relatively dry, actually, for, for the main part of the East period, you know, Easter, um, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday. But uh, probably a bit on the cold side, especially so at night. Wouldn't feel too bad, I don't suppose, by day in the April sunshine. And I've got GFS big tight run. All much of a muchness for uh, next week with low pressure bringing plenty of wet weather in with me. Now, check out this low, though, as we get towards Good Friday. So, this is when we use the Easter update. This is quite interesting because that low sort of becomes a cut off type low just to the southwest of the country. Uh, near near to Biscay. So that does two things. It starts to bring some very wet weather into the west. It also starts to drag up more of a southerly, southeasterly flow. So uh, very slowly, we start to see the temperature lifting up through the east, becoming quite warm. Um, and with high pressure again building out to the northeast, you'll notice. So eventually, we end up with this pattern of high pressure light to the northeast and lower pressure down southwest. That's quite a warm pattern. Brings the wind up from a southeasterly southeasterly direction. Rather volatile, potentially, so it could bring heavy downfalls, maybe even a bit of thunder into the south. Then we end up going into a northerly uh, by the end of the GFS uh, midnight run, yes, until the 26th of April. But more, more high pressure involvement there from the midnight GFS run. Which, as I say in the instructor, is quite interesting because it has been a trend really since the winter. Really since the autumn deluge ran out of steam and we went into the winter. It's been a trend that uh, the models have been consistently trying to produce unsettled periods, protracted unsettled periods, but always we managed to go back to higher pressure um, rather quickly. And any unsettled periods have tend to be toned down and, you know, reduced in their length and longevity. And we might be starting to see the GFS anyway begin to flirt with that. So uh, let's wait and see what Six has got to say, Bo. So again, on Sunday, got a top of Light pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing showery conditions in with it into next week, looking unsettled under a trough of low pressure. We are going to get some unsettled weather next week. There's no getting out of that. Um, and then we head up towards Easter with uh, low pressure then uh, starting to try and push up from the southwest. A ridge building out towards Iceland and Greenland, though. So we're going to like a battle as we go through to, to the Easter weekend. Actually, this is Easter Saturday, 19th of April. High pressure towards Iceland. Uh, low pressure cut off this time down towards Portugal. So that's trying to drag back drag up some very warm air uh, from the south, but it is battling against this northerly wind, and there would be like a weather front that's uh, marking the boundary there. That could bring some very wet weather, actually, and unfortunately for Easter. The high pressure, though, starts to win the battle as we go through uh, the second half of the Easter weekend. Ridges down from the north. This low pressure since the southwest approach is probably bringing some quite wet weather into the south and southwest, but many northern eastern regions, anyway, would be uh, mostly dry. So complicated pattern this bone. And then beyond Easter, well, we've got a blocky area of high pressure up towards Greenland, so we go into those northerly winds again into the last week of the month. Quite cold with winter showers of north, but winds eventually back round to our west southwesterly direction um, into the end of BGFS 6. Everyone gets the 26th of April. So again, rather complicated patterns. It looks like it's going to be unsettled next week and into the Easter weekend. I think there is still a bit of a question mark here about how long those unsettled conditions are are lasting for both. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. And uh, why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about it. Don't forget to subscribe too. Thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that. Around 75 subscribers are going to get us, or will get us, uh, to 19.7k. Uh, 19.7k, uh, 75 subscribers um, uh, for 19.7k. So it could give us a sub. That'd be absolutely awesome. We're grinding. Oh grinding to 20,000 subscribers. I've been a bit better today uh, after being a bit poorly over the last few days. And again, if you could consider giving a donation to Gals Weathers, that'd be awesome as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, oh, this is Gals Weathers PayPal page. Uh, come here, click through the link. Link is in the description with the video. Click through, through the link. Uh, sign into your PayPal account and then just donate whatever you'd like to Gals Weathers. We'll give you a shout out in the video. You might want to plug for your YouTube channel, for your website, for your business. We're more than happy uh, to do uh, that for you. Um, or you might just want us to pass on a message to someone, a loved one, a hated one. <laughs>
<laughs> might want Gab in his own uh, imitable style to uh, tell someone to swing their hook when being divorced, something like that. <laughs> I could do it, I could do it, did he, Gab, telling someone that they're out? Um, no. <laughs> uh, but whatever, you know, whatever sort of uh, message or shout out you want, uh, we're happy to do that, no problem whatsoever. Thanks for showing everyone to do that. It's helping to pay for child help if being to have a channel and be able to do the content uh, for everyone. So, uh, you know, thank you so much. It does mean a lot uh, when when uh, we get our, the, the donations uh, coming in. So thanks to all our PayPal donations. Our super chatters, super bankers, channel members, however you support guys, whether it's that's absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, GM again with low pressure coming across Ketchy on Sony bringing showery conditions in with it. And then into next week, uh, stays unsettled, low pressure, never far away, trough of low through the west of uh, Europe. Ending up toward day 10 and into the uh, Easter weekend, higher pressure building out to the west, gradually starting to slip down over the top of the country, bringing a lot of dry weather with it. So very slowly we begin to break out of that unsettled weather. Though so that's Easter Sunday, I mean, it wouldn't be much to write home about. It'd be quite a cool, probably quite cloudy Easter, Easter day with winds in from the northeast. But it's not low pressure, it's high pressure, so there will be quite a bit of dry weather in with that. So quite a useful, I'd say useful, uh, weather pattern. And then uh, the ECM rounds it all off with a trough of low heading across the country on Sunday, bringing showery conditions in with it. Low pressure then is sitting right over top of the country into the middle of next week, looking very unsettled with that. Uh, that's good Friday, low pressure out to the west, high pressure trying to build again over Scandinavia. Um, and then we've got this sort of... Uh, <coughs> So sorry, everyone. Well, would be a gap video, but I can't. <laughs> We've got a top of low through the west in Europe, higher pressure away to the northeast. But we keep it pretty unsettled on this ECM run uh, up to and even after Easter. We've low pressure never far away under a trough there as we get to the 25th of April, as far as we get to with that ECM run. Uh, this is my precipitation forecast based on my HM run from Tometcha.com. Lots of dry weather to come, but it will be showery conditions in places. Uh, and then going to next week, looking much more That's the middle of next week, uh, Wednesday, under a deep area of low pressure there across England and Wales. Further wet weather at times as we move towards Easter. Uh, so that's Easter Saturday, looking very wet in the far south and southeastern corner. That actually covers much of England and Wales, though. And that's going from east to west, which is somewhat unusual. Normally, of course, wet weather tends to go from west to east. But in, in spring in particular, you can get um, wet to weather going uh, east to west as opposed to uh, west to east. So it looks quite unsafe anyway up to day 10, which gets us to east today. Uh, now, these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today at 4 day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Uh, gets us to the 20th of April, Easter Sunday. 29 members of the ECM Ensembles with high, higher pressure to the north and the northeast, lower pressure to south southwest. That brings up wind from this southerly southeast direction. We've got 12 with a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Trough is underneath it, wind's coming in from uh, the east of that. So that could bring some very wet weather into the south, actually. And then we've got 10 with high pressure over and to the north of the country. Once more, we see quite a lot of dry weather. Uh, in with that, and then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to 25th of April. 21 members of the ECM ensembles have uh, high pressure to the northeast, low pressure to the, to the northwest, should say, low pressure to the northeast. Winds come down in quite a cool northerly direction. We've got 18 with high pressure ridging through the north, some sort of a trough down to the south. Uh, that could bring more shower conditions into the south. And then we've got 12 with high pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Brings a lot of dry weather, but could be a little bit chilly when it's coming in from a uh, uh, north or northeast direction with that. And then finally, we'll see FSB2. These are 500 millibar high tolerance, broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from 24th to 30th of April. So, uh, the next week with high pressure out in the Atlantic, low pressure to the north, northeast. Winds coming in from northwest direction. A little bit more uh, showery and cooler then. And then week two will be the first to the, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, no, that's right, I've got me running, running order wrong, hold on, hold on, let me work out what's happened, hang on. 
Okay, that's worked it out. I've got me ready to order wrong. <laughs> it's a head gas. Strike him again. <laughs> so you've had a little sneaky peeky, a little preview of weeks three and four. Never mind. So that did happen. <laughs> Week one is the tenth to the sixteenth of April. With a uh, higher pressure, that's going to be a funny moment. Higher pressure over to these countries, low pressure out to the northwest. But I just want it does happen more often. I do have to, you know. There's a lot of a lot included in these ten to fourteen days. You know, every day I have to get these charts all all sorted out and in the correct order on that. So it's not surprising. So I actually think I do quite well not to get muddled up. You know, more often. Um, anyway, uh, high pressure. Oh, uh, that's that's what I'm saying. Anyway, that's what Gav's saying. <laughs> no, high pressure from south southeast. High pressure out to northwest. Winds going up in a southerly direction there in week one. Week two. Uh, comments are going to be a hoot today. Week two will be the seventeenth to the twenty third of April. High pressure to our south and southeast and up towards Greenland as well. So a lot of dry weather coming through with that. That's easy. Easter, um, not, <coughs> so sorry, we're not really seeing all that much in way of unsettled weather, is there? Uh, now, this is week three, not week one, <laughs> it's week three, uh, 24th to the 30th of April. I should have noticed on the date stamp, should I? Uh, with low pressure up to the north, high pressure out in the Atlantic, winds coming in from more of a northwesterly direction. So, cooler and more showering for the last week of April. And then, well, this is a surprise, isn't it? Week four, check this out. It's the 1st of the 7th of May with high pressure in the Atlantic. Who want to do that? Go towards Greenland. And I reckon there would probably be a corresponding drop through there and a dip in the jet stream doing something like that. So, that could actually be quite a cool and, uh, well, let's say showery, but could actually be quite a cool and unsettled start. Tummy. We shall see. It's four weeks away, so time will tell, as it always does. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, mistakes and, and whatnot and all, whatnot, whatnot and all, uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. The gas, whatever it is. And uh, you could give us a little donation as well to help up the channel. That would be awesome. That'd be absolutely amazing. I'm thinking I might do a little crowdfunder for Gals and Weather Bins, actually. Uh, so, uh, maybe. I might do you know, just flirt with the idea at the moment. Bring some funds in to guarantee that we can carry on for the next year. But I'll see about that. Anyway, uh, right, so uh, that's it for Day Contact. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We're going to have JMA Friday. There's a 10 to 14 day coming up as well. So, lots and lots to look forward to tomorrow. But uh, for this one, that's all for now. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday and bye for now. <laughs>